has Sorry expired. I call the honourable member for Hasluck. Speaker, thank you. I rise to speak on the upcoming Senate election on April the 5th. It has been just over 200 days since West Australians went to the polls and elected a coalition government. Since the result on September 7, the Abbott government has been getting on with the job we were elected to do. The Australian public voted in the coalition because they wanted a stable government that would focus on people, not personalities within the party. The re result of the last election also sent a clear message that they wanted a government which would do what they said they would do, not a party that would, would say one thing before the election and one thing after the election. But despite the result of the last election, the Labor Party continues to mislead voters and should not be trusted when West Australians cast their vote in the rerun Senate election in nine days' time. The Labor Party's most recent example of why they can't be trusted was, leaked, was, was just last week in the West Australian newspaper. In the March 20 edition, Mr Bullock said that Labor was repealing the carbon tax. So when the Senate voted on repealing of the carbon tax last Thursday, West Australian would have expected to hear that the carbon tax had been repealed. Sadly, this was not the case. Instead, the very same day that Labor claimed they were repealing the carbon tax, Labor aligned with the Greens and blocked this repeal in the Senate. It is clear that Labor has not learnt from its mistakes. And no matter how much they say they have distanced themselves from the Greens, we know from the events of the last week that a vote for Labor is still a vote for the Greens. We all know about the chaos and the dysfunction that Labor and the Greens delivered during the last parliament. Only by voting for the Liberal Party in the Senate can WA voters be guaranteed. With so many fly-in, fly-out workers in my electorate of Hasluck, it is important that there is confidence in WA's mining and resource sector. Confidence is important for companies to invest in the sector and for fly-in, fly-out workers to be confident about their job security. The only party which is committed to a strong and confident mining and resource sector in WA Deputy Speaker is the Liberal Party. We are committed to reinvigorating the sector by repealing the mining tax, but again in another sign that the Labor Party is snubbing its nose at what the Australian people wanted at the last election, Labor has, is standing in the way of the removal of this legislation. Never has a vote for the Liberal Party been so important than on April the 5th. I know from speaking with people in my electorate they are struggling to balance their household budgets since the former government introduced the carbon tax, a tax which they said they were not going to do. But since the former government hit the Australian people with this big new tax, the task for families is to balance their weekly budgets, and it has got harder. My electorate of Hasluck has more than 40,000 families, and every day Labor continues to support the carbon tax. They are continuing to inflict pain on families in my electorate and across Australia. And when businesses think of where to put their vote on in the WA Senate election on April 5th, Speaker, there could be not be more than two contrasting choices: the party that will encourage economic growth the party which will support job and the party which will cut red tape for businesses is the coalition party. Again, we said we would cut red and green tape before the election, and yesterday we dedicated the entire sitting day to repeal day. In my electorate of Hasluck, uh, Speaker, there are more than 11,000 businesses. When I meet with business owners in my electorate, they tell me how they are weighed down by the burden of that red tape. Yesterday, we listened to the coalition government remove over 10,000 pieces and 50,000 pages of legislation and regulation, saving over $700 million in compliance costs. Speaker, I will conclude by reminding the people of Western Australia that when they consider their vote for the Senate election, that the only party which will stand up for WA and is continually to do so is the Liberal Party. It is the Liberal Party which is committed to repealing the mining tax to reinvigorate mining investment. It is the Liberal Party which is committed to repealing the carbon tax to reduce, the w to reduce living and business costs so WA families can save $550 a year on their power bills alone. Our Senate team of the Hon. David Johnson, the Hon. Michaelia Cash, Linda Reynolds and Slade Brockman will ensure WA has a dedicated team which works hard for West Australians and represent the values and the families of Western Australia. Thank you, Speaker. It being five o'clock.
Madam Speaker. It being five o'clock, the House stands adjourned until 13 May 2014 at 12 p.m.